Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Because of all the positive feedback I've been getting from my first video, I've decided to do a little mini series of basically explaining how ETL works on your phone and what it will do. So there'll be a three part mini series going on with three videos involving profile builder, the no, and the capture. I'm gonna get, let you guys get to the video. I greatly appreciate your time. I'll see you at the end. There will be two types of profile, one for city officials and one for civilians. Let's go into the city official profile first since that's probably the most important part of the application. ETO certified officers will be people who volunteer their information to ETO. That means they are willing to fill out a brief summary about their job, the description, who they are, how many years they've been on the force, their contact information work related, and contact information for their supervisor work related. This information will be put onto the application and bundled up into their profile along with a picture, name, badge, and everything that you need to be able to readily identify this person if you ever saw them on the street. The profile will even go as far as telling you about their hobbies, things they like to do, sporting events they tend to enjoy, and even maybe favorite sports teams. What's a good sports team right now? Nah, ETL civilians will have the ability of creating a profile, but they'll have one added twist, which is no one will ever know who you are. Everyone will go by code names in the form of combination of an adj adjective, a verb, a noun, something interesting. For example, mine is a superhero. Most people will have the ability to completely hide their information because this is a public outsource, but you also have the ability to put yourself out there. The reason why I decided to block out certain information on civilian profiles is because of how much information you're really giving into ETO. ETO certified civilians will have to be able to prove their identification in the forms of state IDs, be a driver's license. The reason why we take civilian identification so seriously is because you will be able to outsource information about altercations or interactions that you have with city officials. And it puts it out there that this is a real altercation that happened and gives people an insight to who you are. So civilians' names and other pieces of information that they don't want out there for the public will be hidden from them if they choose to. And the reason why we give them handles are so that other people within the application can directly interact with them without having too much of their information put out there. Say for example, Beyonce wants to use my app. Beyonce is a celebrity. If she chooses to have her information out there, she can. She definitely understands what it means to have her information out there in the public. So she will have the ability to have her name displayed. All ETL civilians will have that ability. But I also want to grant people the ability of feeling safe while using the app. Now, I know you're probably thinking, there's a problem here. We have ETL certified officers, we have ETL certified civilians. But what about the people who don't want to get involved? Civilians who don't want to be part of this, sad to say, the application will be useless to you. We have to develop a form of trust and communication and it all starts with you. So if you are not an ETO civilian, you won't be able to use the application. You will be able to download it, but it won't be useful to you since you can't log in. What about city officials who don't want to volunteer their information? Well, this is where ETO civilians come in handy. Let's say, for example, Officer Johnson stops 10 people and these 10 people are all ETO certified civilians. These ETO certified civilians will then be able to go into the application and build him a profile based on their interactions with them. Say for example, one person gets his name, John. Second person gets his badge number. The next person then realizes he goes to this church. Then another person realizes, oh, he volunteered at this one program at the YMCA. All those things are added to his profile. And over the course of many people visiting or coming into contact with him, Officer Johnson will have a direct representation of what he looks like in the public based on what other people have to say about him. This is very, very powerful. And that is why ETO certified civilians have to be honest and upfront about who they are before they can tell you someone to trust. So let's put it like this. Only people who are ETO certified or part of our community will be able to use the app. 
And in order for you to use the app, you have to first establish your line of trust. And from that trust, we can continue to build on what we're trying to do. I greatly appreciate you guys' support. It means the most to me. I've been getting so many emails and so many questions about this thing. And I want you to know that it's gonna continue to grow and I'm gonna do my best to make sure that all those questions get answered. But for right now, we're in the building stages. If you wanna support this cause, please do not hesitate to go to my GoFundMe page. Anything you have to donate will be greatly appreciated. It's towards building for a better tomorrow. Just thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably will try and get a video out in the near future, but it'll probably be just an update about how I'm doing or how the application is doing. Until then, I want you guys to keep ETL in your mind and just continue to spread the word for me. I'm working with, uh, hopefully I have a meeting with the city council to try and get this beta tested here in my city. So it'll be really cool to see if that goes through. But the next few updates you'll be getting, if you have any immediate questions or you just wanna see where we're at and there's no video up, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, all the fan pages will have everything that's going on. Take care of yourselves. And in the words of the great Adam Carolla, the helmet is not a chair, gentlemen. So now I'm drinking, and drinking turns into thinking, and thinking becomes regrets. Now I'm sending you this text like, oh girl was there for me when you wasn't there for me. It was lust, there wasn't love, I never thought she cared for me. But she did, and that ended up hurting you. I never put my hands on you, but somehow I still left you bruised.